So, Captain Starburst, when she takes naps, she likes to sleep with her cuddly bear yes, there. Yes, so yes, I have taken care of her before, you know. Well, you, she might be feeling a little lonely this afternoon. So. She likes more peas. Than I know you. that. Hey, don't touch that phone. What? I need I need for you to keep the line clear, please. At least I'm going to be ready. You may have seen my hair dryer. What? Oh, my. Okay. I can't be Carol. I'm not ready yet. It can't be. Huh? Here. No. No. Hi. Just want to give the... Carol, I can't be you. I'm not ready. It's okay. I just... No, it's not okay. I, I've got wet hair and no makeup on, and, and you're five hours early for our date. I just thought you might like to know that I'm um, all on this big empty house and there's no family around and nothing to be interrupted. Really? Yeah. Just thought you might like to know. Well, you're not trying to tempt me by chance, are you? <laughs> yep. Come on, there's got to be a name here. Can I help you? No. Does Holly know that you're going through her things? I don't have to explain this to you. Unless you're an employee of the journal, I think you do. Okay. She asked me to contact this guy she knows and said she'd leave the number for me here. Well, why didn't she leave it at home? I mean, the two of you do live together, don't you? Holly, did you want something? Yes. Oh, your help. You, you mean there's a story breaking? No, I, I didn't no, know there was no, a story. No, no, it's not a story. It's, it's personal. I, I have to get rid of you. Oh, you're going to have to supply me with some more detail. You need it? Yeah. Okay, I am um, talking about you and me. Us? Oh, it's suddenly so much more clear. It's about us. But there is no us. If only. You know, usually you're so much more coherent. Uh, but let's run through it. Uh, Roger's back in your life, even though you're a really much more coherent friend, strongly advised against it, so there can be no us, which is okay. I mean, that's cool. It's totally up to you, even though it is... And no matter how irrational that may be. So again, there is no us, and there is no problem. There is a problem. Well, Holly, if, if, if I'm not in the brew, I don't you see are, how we can you're, help. You're in the brew, and you can help. Because if you don't, I'm not going to be able to get out of this place. This place? What place? Why are you doing this? Doing what? You're being deliberately obtuse. You want me to get angry? No, That's what no, you want, Holly, isn't I, it? I don't want you to be angry. You've just forgotten what, what happened between you and me. No, I've never forgotten that. Just doesn't mean anything, then. I didn't say that. It's just that it's over, it's done, it's gone, it's end of story. No, it's not. It's not over, it's not gone, it's, not, it's nothing in my life is, is the same. I'm freezing. You know, going through your partner's personal things without permission is a sure way to blow a relationship. Well, you're the expert on blown relationships. Yeah, it's true. Power games don't work too well on the home front. I guess it took me a while to learn that since I was trying so hard to play in your league. Made a lot of mistakes, lost people I cared about. Such candor. Very rare. Does this mean that you and Mindy are finished for good? If it does, it's because I became a little too much like you. You're right. Mail call. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. here, here. Well, can you come over? I wish I could. I'm on call with Bridget. She's got a things to do list a mile long. Well, can't that wait till tomorrow? I promised. 
Mm. Does Bridget realize that she has the best brother in the whole wide world? Well, I try to remind her every day. I thought we agreed to this stay away plan. Yeah, we did all right, but I just uh, really didn't realize how difficult it was going to be. Good, then it's working. Yes, I think it is. It's just, um, well, this house is so big, it's so empty, and I really miss you, and... Daddy's at the club, and Mary took Peter for his play date, and Josh insisted that I work at home today, and I'm here on his couch naked. <laughs> you are a bad girl. Well, is it working? Are you weakening? Play fair. Oh, come on. Just tell hey, Mom. What? Oh, hi, honey. How are you? You home from school early? Are you all right? Yeah, Teachers had a meeting, so we have the afternoon off. Oh, good. Wonderful. Another time, huh? Another time, naked lady. Well, you know, maybe, maybe the mail's just screwed up. Yeah, right, for an entire month. On a letter and on a phone call. Well, Bridget, I mean, it's, uh, it's probably difficult for Dylan to adjust to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know myself. I've been waiting for a letter from Gabriella, you know. Every day when the mail comes, I get a little rise right here. Like you can't breathe? Yeah. It's like I keep waiting for that little blue envelope. You know, the one with the, you write on the it. The air really, mail, air mail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm hoping that inside she's going to tell me that she really wasn't a whore and that she really didn't mean all those things that she said and that she really wants to come back to me because she loves me. <laughs> but that blue letter never comes, Bridget. It's never there. I'm going to keep hoping to have your day, but today's going to be the day. Yeah, I can't help it. Yeah. Hey, reporting for duty. What? I told you, whatever you need done today, I'll do it for you. Hey, sign me up. Okay. So what's first? Well, um, actually, what I really would like for you guys to do is take out all the, the special handles and handrails and stuff that we put up for Dylan when he first came back. Yeah, but if... No, no, if Dylan comes home, then he's not going to need it. And if he doesn't, I just want it gone. You know, stuff happens, and stuff changes all the time, and I can't be preparing for, you know, well, what if this or that, so. Whatever you say. Where do we start? I don't care. I just want it all gone. Yeah. Hey. Hi. <clears throat> Listen, uh, honey, the other day when I was handing out the advice, I was a little heavy-handed, and I am truly sorry. You don't need to apologize for that. At all. <laughs> um, do you want to... Grab a hammer and lend a hand. Why? What's going on? Oh, you know, life. One day at a time. Honey, oh, why'd you hang up on Matt? You didn't have to. I didn't hang up on him. We just finished our conversation. Oh, yes? Yeah, that happens sometimes. And now I want to spend a little time with my son. <sighs> so what are your plans for the rest of the afternoon? I don't know. Maybe hang out with Scott for a little bit, go to my hockey game, be home by supper. How about this? Why don't, uh, why don't I fix us some BLTs and then you can go see Scott and You don't have to, Mom. Well, I know I don't have to, but I, I, I'd like to spend some time with you. I'm just saying you don't have to, that's all. Well, yeah. And I guess I'm just saying that I really regret not having been able to spend as much time with you in the past couple of months as I would have liked to. Hey, it's your life. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm still sorry that we didn't see as much of each other as would have made me happy. That's you don't have to apologize. <laughs> I'm not apologizing. I'm just... Look, you and I both had some pretty major things happen to us in the last month. And why don't we just start over again? You know, just, just throw out the bad and keep the good. And, and let's make a fresh start, okay? Fine. Okay, so I'm here whenever you want, you know, to talk. Or... Um, I have to get my stuff together for hockey. Have you seen my gloves? Yeah, they're out by the back porch. Oh, Why don't you wear them this time? So you don't get any stitches. Him? Why did she meet with him? Listen, do you have a few uh... minutes? For you, always. That's really good to see you, Melinda. 
Listen, just just wait a second, all right? Um, are you done going through Holly's things? Just finished. Just leaving. You're looking very well, Melinda. Thank you. Good riddance. So, you can spend some time with me right now? Sure. So how about some lunch? I'll take you to Shiloh's. Well, that would be really nice, except I think we'd better go through this box. Oh, so what's in this box? Mail. It's been accumulating over at the Spalding Mansion, and one of the maids brought it over, and... I really think we need to spend some time figuring out what's what. So strange. What? Everything we had, everything we were, our hopes, our lives together, our marriage. And it looks like this is all that's left. Waiting for Snow White? Yeah, you're right. It is a mess. It's not usually this way, except, well, Nick's camping out here, and I have a teenage son, and ever since you went... I... Look, I, I'm just confused about why you are here. Roger is living with you, so all is right with the world, no? How could it be after what happened? What? Oh. Oh, you mean our desktop tango. Well, is that what you're worried about? Everything is different. Yeah, well, of course it is. I mean, it's 1995, isn't it? And we're, well, you're reasonably grown up, and these things happen. And then there are consequences. Consequences? What consequences? Come on, we talked about this. We agreed that this was a one-time thing, that it was a momentary lapse in sanity, and then you went back to Roger Thorpe, and that's it. It's not it? Yes, it's it. That's it. It's over. Look, look, I... I... The other day, in your office, you and Roger, I was very rude. I apologize. I won't do that again. You and Roger, from now on, are on your own. It's none of my business. It is your business, because things are not going back to the way they were before. There is this strange thing now between Roger and me. Are, are, you, are you sure that you should be discussing this with me? Well, you caused it. Caused what? This wall, this invisible wall that's happening now between Roger and me, and he feels it, and I feel it, and it's oh, no, no, excuse, excuse, excuse me. If, if what you're trying to tell me here is poor Roger and how hard things are on him, I'm not going to help with that. Oh, great. well, what do you expect me to say? Roger can rot in angst limbo forever, and that wouldn't be long enough for me. Uh, you, you, you want me to go there, too? No, of course I don't want that, but... And that's hey, all come you on. see? No, I think that's all that you see. Difficult. Well, thank you very much. But just stand still now, finally, please, and tell me what is really going on here. Roger has moved out. I don't know what you expect me to do about that. You have to help me, because this isn't just about Roger and me. It's about you and me. I thought you said there was no you and me. There, of course there is a you and me. I didn't know, no, no, how it happened. I don't know why it happened, but it happened, and there it is, and I, now I have to get rid of it. You. You admit it. I knew it, but you kept denying it. I'm just saying that it's just changed everything. It's changed my future and just con totally confused my life. I see. All that. Yeah. All right. I'll start to put feelers out to other papers, and you should have a job in no time. I'm not going to leave the journal. I'm sure as hell not going to. I'm not giving up my job. You're the one with the problem. You're the one who created it. Oh, please. Our office furniture romp was a two-way deal, which I might remind you was more or less precipitated by little miss My Life's Been Ruined Holly. What's that supposed to mean? That means that I was minding my own business that night until you blew in all skittery and on edge, and about to spark. And the fact that you and I ignited, that was probably inevitable, and most definitely it was good. Good? It was heartbreak and devastation. Why? Because suddenly it meant something? What it means is sleepless nights and devils in my dreams, and I need to exorcise it now. Devils in your dreams. Oh, that's very nice. Well, then just take 
the suggestion from humble me. Trot on over to Roger and tell him everything, and it'll be over. No, can't do that. Why not? If we were meaningless, and Roger is the great love of your life, he'll forgive you, and then it will be over, and then wedding bells will ring. And what if it wasn't meaningless? Well, I I really can't stay. I just I just came by with these flowers for Nadine and tell her I'd pick her up at six. So I'm really out. We of this. can't let you go here. So, done any trucking lately? Uh, yeah, yeah, a couple of a couple of runs. Mm -hmm. uh, the mild weather's been good for that. You have your own truck? Yeah. Oh, trucking is a very hard life, isn't it? Yeah, it must be bad on the back. Well, it's bad on the family, not home at all. Mm. Speaking of trucking, there's Nadine. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hold on. What's up? Frankie, this is terrible. What? What? I feel like I'm in high school. Well, you guys are sitting around here drilling Carol. I'm not drilling him, I'm just making conversation here. Oh, yeah? Not Buzz. I'm, I mean, Buzz is just really grilling him. I can't believe this. Come on, now, just let him go in and let me get ready. Tell me, you got plenty of time here. Plenty of time? I've only got four hours. Mom, this is ridiculous. Frankie, come on, please. Okay, please. Okay, relax, relax. So, how many miles have you got on your rig? Go. Hey, you know what? I think that's enough questions for good old Carol here. Yeah, well, I, I really would like to get some errands done for this evening. Hey, yeah, it's really nice of you to bring these flowers for Mom. Appreciate that. Ah, well, you're very welcome. Yeah, that's nice. Give them to your mom, okay? Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I see. Mom, Carol brought you some flowers. Where, where, where are you taking Nadine? Okay. Okay, okay. Well, um, not to send you your business, but uh, there's a really good film playing down at the old Roxy. Movie? It's not too original, but uh, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, if the you know, if the movie's good and the theater's nice. It's nice. I mean, it's sort of old, though, don't you think? Well, they just put three million dollars into renovating it, so believe me, it's nice. <laughs> Even got a cappuccino bar. Cappuccino bar. Mm -hmm. What, you think I'd take her some dump? No, 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 please, no, you got too much class. I just want to make sure she has a good time. Well, that's my lookout, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. A movie! Woohoo! Wild stuff! <laughs> hey, Mommy's gone. You men, how dare you give Carol the third degree? What are you trying to do, scare him off or something? No, we were just talking to him. Why? Yeah, just really. being polite. Well, I'm running out of time and patience. Oh, you have plenty of time, Nadine. Plenty of time? What are you talking about? I don't even know what I'm going to wear tonight. Oh, you have got to help me pick. All right, all of you, stay right there, and, uh, and I'll show you my choices, and I've got quite a range. Don't move. Stay right there. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Hey, Dad, are you all right with all this? The date is going to be a disaster. Too much, isn't it? It's kind of like I'm, I'm advertising or something, right? Yeah, scratch this one. Well, oh, uh, it's very sweet, Mom. You think? It's real. It's very pretty. Yes, it is very pretty. Yeah, yeah. But maybe it's a little too far the other way, though. Too young. Well, maybe a little too young. Of course, it's too young. What was I thinking? Whoa, now we're cooking. You look great. Yeah, well, thanks, but these boots don't feel so great. I mean, I can't walk them if I ever want to walk again. You look great. Oh. Okay. Did someone die? Excuse me, this is the very latest look. For funeral. That's it. I will never be able to pull the right look together. Oh, come on, man. Come here, come here. Don't give up, all right? No, I might as well just call Carol right now and tell him I've got the flu. I'll get it. Well, you guys are doing good work. Yeah, yeah, we clean up, too. Right. Uh, hi, Bridget. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, 
I bet Quinn and I bet you're here to see Peter, but he's actually over no, no, message. actually, I, I'm I'm here to see Ed. His service uh, said he might be here. Oh, hey. you call my service? You sick? Yeah. Uh, I no, I'm not sick. I just need to talk to you. Uh, why don't you have a seat, and I will get you a beverage. Say, I Thank think you. we're all done here. Uh, yeah, why don't we knock off? Um, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. In fact, I really want to go for a walk. Hey, you need Anybody some company? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, Matt. How about you? So I'm going to take this stuff from oh. Sure. Subtle. Yeah. So what you need to see me about? You had lunch with Holly the other day. Yes, I did. Did she seem different to you? Different? No, I'm... Um, I can't imagine why you'd need my opinion on this. I mean, the two of you got together again, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It's just... There is something very off with her, and I can't figure out what it is. Why don't you ask her? Oh. I have done nothing but ask her, but she's been terminally evasive. <laughs> Why do you think that I would know? Well, come on. I mean, she confides in you. She always has, Ed. You know that. So I guess what I need to know is... <sighs> is there another man? Roger Holly is addicted to you. She comes back to you time after time after time. There isn't now and there never will be another man. I don't know why I should expect you to tell me the truth. Well, no, wait a minute. Um, look at it this way. I wouldn't be all that squeamish about giving you bad news, would I? No. No, I guess not. It's just... There's something or there's someone. You're a very bright man, Roger. You will get to the bottom of this. Say something. I know what we have to do. You want to share it with me? Are you sure you want to hear it? I do. We have to shoot the elephant. What? I was hoping it would wander off by itself, but no such luck. What are you talking about? You see, just because you open the gate doesn't mean the elephant's going to wander off on its own. Sometimes you have to get in the corral with it, you know, turn it around, point it in the right direction, even push it. If it doesn't move, you got to shoot it. Poor thing. I'm going to shoot you if you don't tell me what you're talking about now. All right. Here's how it goes. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, there was a very attractive couple who suddenly and urgently had this great desire to become physically familiar. And they did. And after their get acquainted session, they both tried to pretend that it never happened, but of course, they knew it did. And then one of the attractive people tried to talk about it, which was me the night I tried to whisk you out of that office. The night you kidnapped me. I tried. I wanted to talk about it, but all the other attractive person would talk about was Roger Thorpe. Well, he is very important to me. There has been an elephant following us around ever since that night we were together, Holly. We've both been acting as if there isn't, but of course there is, and we know it. You even tried to send this elephant to the burial ground, but this particular pachyderm doesn't want to be buried. Would you stop the elephant stuff and talk straight? We made love, Holly. And it wasn't just one of those things. Both of us could think of nothing else ever since that night we were together, and all the thinking and longing is not going away, is it? No, it isn't. So how do we shoot it? We spend some time together. Find out what it is that's going on between us. I'm willing if you are. Oh, we go out on a date. Like a date, you and me, on a date. Oh, <laughs> that's a wonderful idea. Great, that'll solve everything. I come to you for help. <laughs> Big mistake. Oh. I thought you were going to 
know that ripped from my jersey. Huh? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Where is... Oh. Right there. It's huge. Okay, could you thread the needle? I already oh. did. Thanks. Okay. How was your time with Scott? Fine. Yeah? Did you, uh... Did you talk about the game with him? Yeah. Good. Penny, for your thoughts. Uh, are you a Mac and a Shack up or what? Ow! What? I mean, you guys are lovers and everything, and that's usually what happens, right? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you asked me what I was thinking, and that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Look, sweetheart, uh, I'm not going anywhere, you know? This is my home, and, and uh, all the people that I love are right here, so I'm staying put. But you love Matt, too, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, well, I mean, you had that place with him in the warehouse. Doesn't that mean you want to get away to be with him? Well, think of it this way. I mean, you have a lot of friends that you're close to, right? And you want to spend time with them, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to up and leave your family, does it? I guess not. No. So it's sort of the same thing with Matt and me. You know, I'm, I know that we will want to spend time together alone. This is, this is not very fine hand here on this rip, but it'll do. But I imagine that we'll be able to figure out a way that we can. I mean, like, have him come over here? Yeah. Sure. I mean, why not? Everybody knows the way we feel about each other now, and so... I suppose we could include him in family dinners. Things like that. What would you feel about that? I don't know. Okay, I guess. Oh. Okay. Well... We'll see. Meanwhile, I'm not going anywhere. Good. And meanwhile, this might hold. <laughs> and Thanks. you have a hockey game. Yeah, I better go catch my ride. Sweetheart, why don't you let me drive you, and then I'll come with you afterwards. Oh, uh, okay, if, if you promise not to freak out when it gets too rough. Me? I'll be very calm. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm tough. I'm I very tough. The first drop of blood. Blood? What's a little blood? It's so beautiful out here, it's like clearing my head out. You know, you're pretty talkative all of a sudden. You haven't said a, a word for about the past hour. Is there something you care to spill? Like what, like guilt? Hey, what do you have to be guilty about? Oh, I don't know, maybe just the fact that I, you know, took out all the things that were supposed to help Dylan. Kind of like erasing every trace of him. Oh, that's not what you were doing. Really? Then what was I doing? Well, I mean, you were making a healthy move. I had to make a move, okay? I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going the right way or not, but I, I had to do something. Bridget, you, you did the right thing. I mean, it was a gutsy move, and I didn't expect it, but you did the right thing. You really think so? Well, yeah, I mean, what were you supposed to do? You didn't want him to go. But he did. He did what he had to do. So what are you supposed to do, sit around and wait for him the rest of your life? No, you did the right thing. But David, I still love him. I know. I know, and I still love Gabriella, but no matter how hard I try to sit down and figure out what happened, no matter how many times I go over it in my head, it just doesn't do any good, Bridget. You can't rewrite history. No, you can't go back. So then let's make a deal. Okay, from here on out, no more sulking, no more moping around. We make sure that one another toes the line, okay? Or else? Right. As a matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to construct an attitude box from some of the wood we got from the railings. Mm -hmm. Every time somebody mopes, every time somebody's sulking, the moper has to put five bills in the box. Oh. What do you say? I say you got a deal. <laughs> Have I told you lately how grateful I am that you're my friend? No, but are you about to? 
No. <laughs> so you're going to be filing your change of address card soon, right? Well, when I get a permanent address, yeah. Oh, you're looking for a place? Actually, I was hoping I wouldn't have to. Boy, I better look through these. They're just bills. Don't worry about it. I'll take care well, of them. Some of them might be mine. Well, now look at this. The bracelet that you tried to sneak through with the teddy bear. <laughs> I took it back, by the way. Mm-hmm. Well, it was a very cute bear, even though I did throw it at you. I didn't mean to insult you. And I was not trying to buy you. Okay, we all make mistakes. You were pretty fierce that night. I was very impressed. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was pretty hot, wasn't I? Sizzling. Well, tell me, Rhonda. How do we get off track? Well, you know, I, I think it was all about that obsession with the Spalding takeover. I never stopped loving you. You know, I, I think that you loved the Melinda that you married. But I'm a different person now. We're both different. No. No. Not the way that we both feel about each other. All right, look, maybe we took a wrong turn somewhere. But don't you think that if we tried, that we could try, we could make it back? We could find our way back? Decorator's designs for a new house. Mindy and Nick, I know you'll make it a happy home. Okay, now there's five bears here, okay? Now, uh, how many they're bears gone? are asleep? Yeah, they're gone. Thank goodness. The last thing Carol needs is to pick me up in front of the whole family. Oh, come on, Mom. Carol's a big boy. Why don't you just come out here and show us what you're wearing, what you decided to wear, all right? Okay. So you see two asleep bears here? Is that what you, uh... Let's see? Wow! Wow, she looks great, doesn't... Nope, she doesn't look great. She looks sensational. What do you think? You look pretty, Grandma. Oh, yeah, she pretty too does, sweet. doesn't she? <laughs> you know what? Um, here, Marina, why don't you continue uh, reading me, okay? I'll come back. You doing okay? Yeah, okay, I'm fine. I'm just, you know, a little nervous. Yeah, it must be tough uh, jumping back in that dating pool, huh? Well, it's, it's kind of fun, and, uh... And it's about time. It's him. Hey. Doesn't she look gorgeous, Buzz? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, if you need anything, just call. I'll be sitting by the phone all night. <laughs> well, I won't need anything, Buzz, and you are not my father. <laughs> Besides, Carol will take care of me completely. Not bad. Huh, I'll get that. Wonder who it is, huh? <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, Carol, how there you doing? Let's see. Let's see you. Dean, you look beautiful. Thank you, Carol. Are you ready? Yeah, just let me get my coat and purse. Don't be long. No. Hey, I'm going to call son. Let's get out of here. Go see Grandma real quick, okay? Carol. I want to talk to you. But that's all right, Buzz. I, I don't think I need any advice. It's, it's, it's okay. I check the movie listings. Roxy's playing, you know, the bionic vampire returns. It's no good. She hates science fiction. Take her bowling. Okay. Shall we? See ya. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Have a good time. Yeah, be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Dad, what did you mean uh, earlier when you said their date was going to be a disaster? Uh, it's okay. I fixed it. I think. This is weird. <sighs> so how are things with you and Vanessa now, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're okay, I guess. You know, it helped hanging out with you the other day. It <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we were living in a fantasy world. We could keep going the way we were. 
I just hope things work out now that everybody knows about us. If it's the real thing, it'll survive, you know? Being in love is... It's not an escape. It's, it's no place you can hide. I think you're right. Uh, listen, I gotta go and cook dinner for my cutie pie. Thanks, Uncle Ed. I'll see you. I'll see you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you're not very good at this, are you? Wait a minute, this is a technical call because I, I want to know what this, this um, penalty box thing is all about. Bill plays rough, huh? Mm. Well, it, it, it's kind of like when a kid gets put in the corner for doing something bad. He'll be out in a few minutes. Well, it was scary. It really was. Yeah, well, you know, these guys are just all bluffing half the time anyhow. So how are things going with you and Bill? Oh, so much better. Um, as a matter of fact, I think that you might be out of the penalty box pretty soon. You know, Vanessa, we really need to give this more than just one day, don't you think? Why? Well, I, you know, we need to make sure that this is more than just physical. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes, you know it is. I really wish I could see you right now. Me too. Hey, what just happened? Um, oh, Bill's out of the box. He's got, he's got the box. A lot of dreams went into that. Yeah. A lot of dreams. Well, we'll um, hustle through the rest of this stuff and then it'll be over. Mm -hmm. Will it be over, Melinda? This pile of junk can't possibly be everything that's left of us. You know, it's kind of sad, isn't it? So where do we go from here? Is it really over? Or is there any hope at all for us? Where's Holly? I don't have any idea. She never showed up to work? Did she call? Sorry. Where are you, Holly? see a movie, talk, and just see how it goes. Yeah, it's the only way I can see to get a handle on it. And that's when we bury the elephant. Presumably. We could even have a good time. Heaven forbid. Well, all right. Good. I'll make the plans. You just enjoy. Tonight, okay? Tonight? Yeah. The sooner we start, the sooner it's over. Tonight. 